Hugging Face, just launched a 300 bucks robot that could potentially disrupt the entire robotics industry. They are not a hardware company, and their announcement came out of the blue, so the whole thing flew under the radar. However, when a $4.5 billion AI platform suddenly starts selling physical robots that integrate with their machine learning ecosystem, we are probably entering a new era of both hardware and software products, so we really need to talk about it. The robot is called the Ritchie Mini. It's an 11-inch desktop humanoid built on top of a Raspberry Pi 5, and it is designed to make AI-powered robotics accessible to millions of developers. You place it next to your laptop, plug it in, and connect it to an AI model in less than 10 lines. That's the whole pitch. Hugging Face says their goal is to remove the biggest barrier in robotics. You can't build on your laptop alone, and most people can't afford multi-thousand dollar prototypes. Richie is supposed to change that. The robot is fully programmable in Python, with JavaScript and Scratch support coming soon. It's got 6 degrees of freedom in its head, rotating parts, antennas, a wide-angle camera, microphones, and a speaker. You can use it for anything ranging from computer vision to smart assistant behavior. And, of course, everything connects back to the Hugging Face Hub, so you can pull AI models directly and deploy them to the robot in a few lines of code. If we are being honest, this sounds a little bit like Raspberry Pi all over again. Raspberry Pi revolutionized how people learn hardware and embedded systems, and it turned classrooms of hobbyists into developers. Hugging Face wants to do the same for AI robotics. And the best part is that the entire stack from the hardware design to the software and the assembly instructions are open source. We even get the blueprints to 3D print the robot chassis, order of the shelf parts, and assemble the entire thing at home using the documentation. This business approach of giving away knowledge while monetizing convenience isn't new in software, but applying it to physical products is risky because manufacturing, shipping, and support are all harder at scale. However, if they pull it off, Hugging Face could become the GitHub of robotics hardware, where the hardware is free to copy, but the ecosystem is what keeps developers coming back. So Hugging Face is committed to this project, and they are actually planning to make more than just robots. Their vision is to release dozens of prototypes each year, some fully assembled, and others just as DIY kits. This is the opposite of the typical robotic cycle, where companies spend years building one product and then ship it at a price where only professionals can afford. So, while Tesla is building Optimus, and Boston Dynamics is refining Atlas, Hugging Face is democratizing robotics for the masses. And that's the deeper play here. We are now living in a time where robotics and AI can be prototyped, developed, and tested at home, with seamless access to all kinds of powerful models. The goal is to turn robotics into a first-class part of software development, and to put physical AI in reach of as many people as possible. So, if we take a step back, it's clear this unlocks new paths for developers and entirely new categories of products because robotics becomes far more accessible. And this is especially true now, when big companies like NVIDIA are releasing products for Edge AI Robotics, or Google DeepMind is experimenting with robot control using a language. If you liked this video, you should check out one of these ones next. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and until next time, thank you for watching.